vlogging from my bed in a weird different angle because I wanted you guys to see what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna try to do a weekend dream vlog while also doing some other stuff because I really want to vlog right now even though it's Friday and it's like what time is it? 5 30 at night. <laughs> Yeah, I went to the zoo today and then I came home and started watching people's vlogs and I was like, wow, I really miss vlogging. That's the plan. But I should tell you what I'm currently reading, which is a lot. And I know that like I always have like, what's it called? I always have like eight books on my current reads on Goodreads, so I'm always constantly reading stuff. But like, I'm actually doing really good. <laughs> I have, I think about five books on there right now, but I'm reading four of them. Like right now. Which is weird, but I'll explain it to you. Give me one second. I wasn't ready. I just really wanted to vlog. I'm like really nervous because this is literally sitting on my bed. <laughs> but, um, okay, so what am I reading? I am currently reading uh, Clockwork Prince, which is the Parabatai Book Club book. We were trying to read it for April, but today is April 30th. Oh my god, what day is it? I don't know. It's the end of April <laughs> and we're not done it yet, which is fine. I am on chapter 9, which is page oh, 183. So I'm reading that guy. I'm listening to the audiobook um, and I'm probably going to try to finish this one this weekend for sure. Um, the other one that I would really like to try to finish this weekend is Life and Death. It's like upside down because this is the way that Life and Death is. But I am reading it, putting in little, like, little sticky notes. I am on page 170 of this one and it only goes to here like that's all that I have left so like yeah there's only 387 pages and I'm listening to the audiobook for this one too because I'm planning on filming a video talking about Twilight, um, Midnight Sun and then Life and Death just to like compare them which I'm very excited about. So I'm working on that. I also would like to finish this one this weekend so those are like my top priority. If not then that's fine. I am buddy reading The Shadow and Bone because the TV series came out. Uh, we're on chapter 8, I think. I think she's on chapter 7, I'm on chapter 8. So we're like really close to each other, but we just gotta like check in because we're reading it at the same time, even though my friend is watching the show. She's probably never gonna see this video, but I know what you're doing, Laura. <laughs> the other book I am currently reading, I am buddy reading as well. All of these are like, I'm reading with other people, so like I'm slowly reading them um, and taking my time, which is why I haven't been reading a whole lot, but I'm reading Red, White, and Royal Blue with Claire, and we're having a good time. We were both like really, really busy, um, but I saw her at the zoo today, it was great. And I'm on chapter four, I think she's on chapter three, so we're like, I'm just like a chapter ahead of everybody, which is just really fun, you know? But anyways, I'm having a good time enjoying that. And then I'm also reading another thing, but I'm not going to get to it this weekend. So, like, this weekend, whatever, I buddy read with other people. And then Life and Death and Clockwork Prince. Clockwork Prince is a bit different, though, because I'm, like, taking notes as I read it. So that's, that's what's happening. And then, like, Life and Death, I'm doing sticky notes. Who am I? I'm taking notes. I'm annotating. Like, this is just a whole different person, right? Like, who is this? We don't know her but the other thing I want to do is I got a couple new plants and a couple of my plants are not doing so great so I would really like to do some reading up on this specific plant here because I generally understand tropicals I generally understand succulents I generally understand like trailing plants but I'm not like individually caring for each plant the way that they should be and thanks crow um, I should know how to do that. Um, the app that I have is like really weird because it is like specifically telling me to do all these things that I'm like I know that my plant does not need that and I like it's like in your bedroom you'll have a north facing window which I do which is why I don't get a lot of sunlight but I have like you can tell there's a light on right here right I have a plant light it has no option to let me add that I have a plant light where all my plants are sitting in. so like I would like to know who needs what you know you know I'd like to do that I'll show you my like, you can look at my like little plants. See, I have like all of these and they are all like individual. There's even some up here. This is my plant light, everybody over here. There's even more over there. There's more like up front that you can't see because my vanity's there. But this is like, this is pretty much what you guys don't see on camera all the time, which is why 
I decided to sit here. But like, um, this is an ivy. I just got that. There's an orchid that's regrowing. This is a myrtle tree. That is a purple inch plant. That's the purple inch plant, but in pink. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. There's a peperonia. Like, they, um, wild rose, that kind of stuff. This thing up here is a succulent that trails. I don't know. Anyways. So, I thought I would bring you along because this is going to be like when I'm starting tonight. I have an Archer and Olive journal, which I love, love, love. These are so amazing. Um, I ordered a bunch of bullet journals last summer because I knew that I wanted to do a bunch of different projects. And I have uses for literally all of them except for this one because this one ended up showing up lined. And I'm pretty sure that's not what I ordered because I only looked at the bullet journals, but I'm dying. And just FYI, I got my vaccination, my first shot yesterday, and I basically have had a fever for the last two days on and off. But anyways, so the lined one, I was like, I can do my plant information in here. So there's going to be no real organization to this. Um, I'm just going to like put my plants in there. I am going to start probably with the ones that I have given names to, which include Jeremy, Timothy 2.0, I don't know if I should include Diana because she's dying. She's downstairs. I will give all my plants names while we're going through this because they deserve it. They're a little chaotic because I got more dirt to put in them. Some of them needed like a little top up. And I usually water them on Sundays and then fertilize them on the first of the month, which the first of the month I think is tomorrow. And then Sunday comes after. But anyways, I need to like look up, like I would like to in here put like when they need to get watered, like how many times a week or more times a month because the one up top I think only gets watered every 24 days or something. I was reading that but it could be wrong. And then I would like to, like how often do they need to get watered? How often do they need to be fertilized? How much light do they need? Because if they don't need direct sunlight I will move them somewhere else because there are some of them that need direct sunlight. I would like to um, see which ones like need hibernation, which one needs to get trimmed because I also bought um, new shearers, like little trimmers for your plants because I know that my myrtle tree needs to get trimmed. Uh, I'm just like not sure how to do that. So like if I watch a YouTube video or whatever. And then I do have a Polaroid camera so I can take pictures of all of my plants and put them in here. Which I think would be really cute. So that's the plan. I hope it will turn out good but I will update you guys when I have a couple pages done. And we are starting with Jeremy who is the... What is he called? Crassula ceramentosa. To ceramentosa. I bought Jeremy when he was about this tall. He was in the succulent section of the plant store. And now Jeremy is uh, this one up here in this box that just goes all down everywhere. That's Jeremy. I've had him for, oh, I want to say like four years or something. Like I've had him for a really long time. And he was literally like this tall when I bought him and he is the most beautiful boy. I'm so proud of him. He flowers sometimes too, which is really cute. I would like to learn about that because I wanna know what he needs when he's flowering or what he's expecting, you know? Um, so we're starting with him for sure. And then I think I will do, maybe I'll start with like my trailing guys because I have Ivy, one the, uh, I have a pothos. I have two of the inch plants. I also bought jasmine today, so I'm really excited about that because I'm pretty sure that flowers. If I'm wrong, don't judge me. I will find out. I'm looking it up. Big yikes. Um, just a little update uh, before I go and read a little bit. This is what I my first page looks like for Jeremy. Just like simple instructions. I made a little drawing, which I'm actually really proud of. The picture looks awful, so starting a GoFundMe to get me a better printer for my pictures. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really want one of those um, like printers that prints stuff from your phone, so you have to go to Walmart. <laughs> That's like my dream. Okay, <laughs> so for now, it's gonna be this terrible picture I took with my Polaroid camera. Um, it took me three tries and that's like, they were all bad. They were all really bad. So like, I'll get a better printer and I'll take a better picture of him. For now, that will be what's in there. And then I'll just like continue on, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read, I think. So I'm gonna read Life and Death. Yeah, I'm actually like super into this. Um, I'll tell, like I, I wanna save like all my thoughts and feelings for when I make an actual video talking about 
like Twilight, Life and Death, and Midnight Sun. So I like I don't want to give you too much away, but I like Life and Death a lot more than I like Midnight Sun. Like it's actually interesting to me. So I'm just gonna continue on with that, even though I've made a mess now that I'm crafting. Talk to you guys in a second. You'll see me in a second. I won't see you in a second. But yeah. Good morning. It is Saturday morning on this weekendish reading vlog. This is like a weekend because I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday next week. So like, I saw a lot of time for vlogging or reading. We're back in like the normal position, as you can see. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna try to read today because I have work. So I am listening to the Clockwork Prince audiobook. So I will try to read this one. It is a lot easier for me to read this one and take notes at work. Last night I didn't end up reading at all anyways. I'm gonna go watching a movie. But anyways, <laughs> so I will read this one, hopefully. But I also end up reading or listening to about an hour of The Way of Kings um, by Brandon Sanderson. This, I am <laughs> I'm over halfway finally. I've been reading this book since like, I want to say 2017, 2018. Like, it's been a, like a long time I've been reading this book because I have the, I have the audiobook. I have the, I had got the audiobook before I got the physical copy and I started listening to the audiobook and then like two thirds of the way, or not even two thirds, I'm like two thirds of the way through now, about one third of the way through I purchased the physical copy so that I could follow along because there's so many like maps and documents and stuff that it's like see like you know when you're reading a paper see appendix a or whatever yeah you know like they have that stuff in here so it's nice to be able to look at that stuff when they bring it up at the end of some chapters because it's just nice but i okay so i have it on audible because i've had it for literally years and the audiobook for this thing is like 48 hours but i listen at three times speed and i really really like the narrators and i've been listening to about an hour every weekend and i'm down to i think five and a half hours or something <laughs> what am i at hang on i gotta look it tells you like so it says i have five hours and 19 minutes left on this thing which is hang on 15 hours and 57 minutes in like the regular time so like that's good however i also really really am in the mood to pick up something that i am not i haven't been rating for four years basically and something that i'm not reading because I'm doing it for something else like literally everything else I'm currently reading is either a buddy read or like book club read or um life and death which is I'm reading for a video so I'm like I feel like I'm suffering because everything except for like this is one reading so I'm in the mood to pick up something else and don't judge me for this choice because I've been wanting to pick this up like all week and I have no explanation as to why I want to pick it up and I want it's beautiful chaos I want to read beautiful chaos which is ridiculous why do I want to pick this up I don't know but I am like five seconds away from requesting the audiobook on Libby and I'm just reading it at work because like this would probably happen because I'm just in the mood for this which is fine, this was on my TBR for the year, so I'm doing really good. Actually, to report back on that, because I made my TBR for the year on Notion, I have added, like, more to it. So there's, like, 92 slots on there or something, and I want to read 90 books. And I'm doing really, 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 really good. I have not read any books that I have purchased this year, which was my original goal. Um, the only book that I've purchased this year that I will read this year is the last Miss Peregrine's book because I'm buddy reading it with a friend of mine who lives moved across the country and so I'm like waiting for her to catch up because I have read all the books already and she is just she's got like two books left or something to catch up and then we were gonna buddy read it so like that's the plan and that's the only book that I've purchased this year okay wait um Court of Silver Flames but I already finished it that was like expected there's like so there's like two books that I've purchased this year everything else I'm like doing really good reading what I've already got like what I had before which is really really awesome not to mention I have set up I've changed my TBR just like a little bit so all these books are like the regular books that I would like to read as like the year goes on and any books that actually you know what I also want to read <laughs> sorry I'm getting sidetracked I watched the Martian movie the other day on TV and it was like so good and like I could read Artemis I haven't read this yet I would like to read this okay okay so these ones are coming up yeah 
Sure, because these were both on like my TBR for the year that I want to get done. Because like, I'm in like a very, I want to finish a bunch of series instead of start a bunch of series. So like, these help me because this is like the duology for Martian and this is the third book in the Beautiful Creatures series. So like, that will help. So like, maybe these will be the next books that I pick up. I like that idea. Even though I want to finish Shadow and Bone like that, I am doing my best. I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, these are two of the books while we're on my TBR. I might pick up these. I have messed with my TBR a little bit though, and I'm planning on doing a readathon for myself in July, and I'll tell you about it then because I want to make it into a whole entire video because I'm freaking insane. I did tweet about it, so if you saw that tweet, you know. But like, I'm a little insane, and that's just that's just how it is, you know? That's just how it is. So today, Saturday, I don't know what I'm going to pick up yet. <laughs> oh man, I just made so many decisions that I... I don't even know where to begin, you know? Okay, so I really, I like really want to get this one done. I will listen to about an hour of The Way of Kings today. So I'll do my best with this one. Um, I will try to pick up Clockwork Prince because I have the audiobook. But also, if I read one of these two, don't mind me. Um, actually, let's find out how long the audiobooks are because that would be nice. Let's go on to Libby for an adventure. Okay, so this one... Is due in six days so I do need to finish it it says that I have four hours and 40 minutes at the speed I'm going at to finish it which is most of my shift Oof, I know I have this one oh it shows me all the Artemis file books okay there we go oh yeah okay so this one is 11 hours that's not bad you know what I'm just gonna borrow it screw it oh what Artisma this is Artemis why did I borrow Artisma wait a second oh my god it's in Spanish I was like, why is there an A on the end? It's how you spell Artemis. <laughs> I'm on this adventure where Darby doesn't know the alphabet. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm in the R's. Keep going. Keep going. I need to go through this tag thingy. I don't like the way they configured the Libby app. They changed it and I don't like it. Just as an FYI. That's the only one. They only have the Spanish version. Can I do weird? Artemis. Okay, there we go. I have two libraries, so I just gotta check both of them. Place hold. Place hold? This one's only nine hours. <laughs> Should be ready about three weeks. Oh, screw you. Okay, so Artemis is off the table. For today, at least. This one is available and it's 16 hours. That's less than this that I have left. What am I doing? I don't know. Um, we'll find out. We'll, we'll get there. But, like, I really do want to read this one. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, no Artemis, I guess. I'm not bringing any of these with me to work. I'm just sitting here talking to you for the last 11 and a half minutes. Trying to figure out what I want to do. Obviously, this is going to be cut down because I'm insane, but, yeah. Return, 20 days early. Yeah, gee, thanks. Artisma. Let's delete that off of there. I'm going to go through my tags on here and just delete a bunch of stuff. Off to work, we go, you know, off to work. I'll update you guys when I get home and tell you what I actually read because I have no idea what it's going to be. Watch me start everything and then not listen to a single thing and watch a movie or something instead. Yikes. Hmm, that was weird. My camera just, like, shut off. It's not dead or full or anything. But anyways, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to re-explain myself because I don't think that got that at all. I went to work today and I read Clockwork Prince like I said I was going to, put it on the side. Um, and I got halfway through chapter 10, so like when I left today I was at chapter 9, and then I got halfway through chapter 10 and I think the audiobook skipped something, so I'm gonna have to go back and see, because it made a weird jump and I was like that. That's not a Cassandra Clare jump, that doesn't make any sense, so I have to fix. I have to go back and see if there's something I was missing. Sometimes that happens with Libby, but that's okay. And then, <laughs> I made some progress on Way of Kings. I now have like this much left, which I read almost 10 chapters today. I went from chapter 47 to chapter 55. And I'm very pleased with that. I made like good progress and I'm enjoying it. I'm always enjoying it. but like. Since I've been reading this for like the last three years, I have always known what's going on. Every time I pick it up, I know exactly where I finished. It's basically like watching a soap opera every day, but you miss a bunch of days and then you still know what's happening later on. I don't know why that's how I explain it, but that's how my mom explained to me when she watched soap operas. She always knew what was going on. That's how I feel about this, is I always pick it up and I know exactly where I left off, which is really funny, but I am enjoying it a lot. I have 11 hours technically left, but it's 3 hours and 47 minutes of my listening speed, so 
who knows maybe we'll finish this tonight we'll find out i do want to do some self-care because my nose is breaking out really bad and i would like to fix that so maybe we'll listen to this after i figure out what happened to this and to give you guys some good quality content i realized today is may 1st and i have not done my bullet journal for may this is my book bullet journal for 2021 um i have to update like a bit of my reading for august or august april that i forgot to do and then pretty much it so i will finish my april bullet journal thingy and set up my may one and i'll show you guys what i'm doing because i think that'll be very fun i love this bullet journal oh, so cute it's got silver pages this is like the plan fix this i don't know what happened to it do this and read more of this i just smacked myself in the head that would be nice. You know what would be so cool? If I could finish this this weekend. I think I could do it. Wouldn't that be fun? I've been reading this book for three years and then I finally finish it. Hell yeah.
All right, to finish off my weekend reading vlog, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't end up reading a whole lot more. I, well, I mean I did, but I didn't. I got really close to finishing The Way of Kings. I got up to page 100, not 100. 1113 um, chapter 65 is where I got up to which is really awesome the audiobook says I have like one hour and 56 minutes left of listening at three times speed keep in mind so that's like what six hours left I think but I'm very close and I will finish it very soon I'm loving this so much I just I just need to finish it you know and then I will slowly be making my way to reading one or two books at a time Hopefully, that's the plan. That's the goal. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my May spread and my little book that I made for my herbs. Um, come back later. I'm going to be doing a 24-hour readathon very soon. Very excited about that. And I hope you all are having a great time. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but I hope it's enjoyable. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!